Welcome to the toilet of the International Space Station. Let's say you're up here on ISS and you need to go to the restroom. You want to come to this cabin and the first thing you want to do is grab this piece of equipment and turn this rotor switch 90 degrees to the open position. What that does is it turns on a fan which creates a suction effect in this hose so that you can use this yellow element for your number one. For number two, the principle is actually exactly the same, suction. We have a solid waste container here, and on top of it is this uh, seat. Uh, and the solid waste container is connected via this hose to the same fan, so that, again, the same suction effect allows you to do your number two in weightlessness. I want to show you how it looks, but since we don't want any bad smells uh, to come out, we're going to actually turn on the fan. It's going to be a little bit loud. There we go. Now you can lift the lid. And there is this uh, seat that sort of looks comfortable, but you don't really see it in, in, sit in weightlessness. So uh, most of us actually prefer to lift this one as well and use directly the, the opening that goes into the bag. And in fact, there is a bag in, in there. It looks like this. And uh, when we are done with our business, we close the bag and we push it down into the solid waste container. And then of course, as a courtesy to the next person, we put a new fresh bag inside. The um, solid waste container gets changed when it's full, which is roughly every 10 days for a crew of three people using it. Uh, this one, for example, was installed on uh, the 61st day of this year, so probably roughly around day 71 we will have to change it again. Um, but urine gets recycled, so from uh, the pretty complicated hydraulic equipment that is behind here and makes the use of the toilet in space possible, the urine actually gets directly transferred to another piece of equipment which is here in the floor, which is called UPA, Urine Processing Assembly, which is the first step into turning urine into portable water. And then you'll be talking pee like we are. Hey, the flat Earth has, and I'll say this over and over again, opened many people's eyes to looking and discovering for themselves. Now, if you want to use urine therapy as a perfect example of this, fine. It's just the same example. I'm going to use this example. It's the most apt time I've ever used it. It's the same piss in a different bottle. You've got flat earth. You've just got to go and have a look. Have a little test. Have a little dabble. Have a little look for yourself. And it's the same with urine therapy. You can listen to people. You can